in kind of controlled environments and in other past peer reviewed research, we do have some data points to understand how different uh, remediations and strategies are, are working and in terms of efficacy versus not. I, I agree with you that in the real world, we largely don't know. How well do you think the real world, and let's take the real world as people who are actually practitioners, engineers, safety consultants who are understanding what works, what doesn't, and then is advising real world clients, you know, and ultimately are we making the right decisions in our buildings about what what the most effective, you know, risk mitigants are for, for our offices, our schools, other types of everyday public environments? It's extremely difficult to, um, to test at the moment what is the most applicable solution for uh, every given environment. I mean, if you take almost every um, air cleaning solution, um, it can be tested relatively easily in a lab. Um, you take a you take a HEPA purifier or a, a UV system. You measure the air, uh, the amount of pathogen immediately before that filter, um, and immediately after. You can see the reduction. How that translates to a building is is very difficult how much do you know how much of that pathogen has gone all the way through the hvac system and then and then and then back into the space um what is the what is the risk from for recirculation it's it, it, it's very tricky people are in a difficult position when they're when they're deciding what to do in in buildings um possibly relying on anecdotal evidence of something that has worked or something that's um, been tested in a lab um it is a real challenge for um for people to verify these solutions